All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about keyword arguments and also explaining all the cool things that we can do with them. So in the last video, or actually, I don't even know if it was the last video, in one of the past videos, I already showed you guys that you can have default arguments. For example, you can have a number and set it equal to a value, or I think we did the sex and we set it equal to unknown. So we did something like this. Let me make a really simple uh, function. I'll just name it dumb sentence and it's going to print out a really dumb sentence and we'll give it a couple default values and we already know what those are so I won't explain them again so we'll have a variable called name have another one called action and all of these are just going to be uh, simple string variables and item so the only purpose of this function is to print out a dumb sentence and by default we'll just say Bucky eight tuna using three different variables so in order to do this print name action item so right now if I just run this of course ugh, got phlegm in my throat so remember when we don't pass in any arguments it just uses the default I say default default argument so that's what what is happening right now however in this tutorial I want to show you something else so we have a different couple options of exactly what parameters we pass in and how we pass them in so by default whenever we pass in parameters it's gonna accept them in the order we pass them in so Sally um, what did Sally do Sally farts and for the item, we'll just say Sally farts gently. So Sally farts gently. So again, this function, the function that we just created, it takes three string variables. Now, we're passing in three string variables right now. So what it does is it says, okay, since you did this one first, this one second, and this one third, I'm going to go ahead and assume that the first one, it's supposed to be equal to name the second one action and the third one item okay makes sense and that's how it um displayed it whenever or that's how it used it I should probably say however there are gonna come certain times where maybe we only want to pass in the second one or maybe we want to pass in the third one in the first one so whenever we want to pass in a limited number of arguments or we want to pass them in in a different order this is how we do it we need to utilize the keyword of this argument right here so say that we wanted to set the item equal to something different well if we just write a string there it's gonna think it's meant for the first one so what we can do is we can actually type item and set it equal to awesome so now whenever we print this out it says Bucky eight awesome well that doesn't really make sense so let's go ahead and change that so in this last example we'll say okay tree item is awesome instead of tuna and also for the action it would make more sense if we wrote is so again not only are we choosing to pass in only a limited number of these parameters just the second and third one but we can also pass them in, in any order we want. Pretty easy, especially whenever we wrote a bit of code and we're giving this to someone else and allow them to use our functions. So run this and it says Bucky is awesome. So again, that is what a keyword argument is, a really cool way to work with arguments to pass in a limited amount of arguments or pass them in in any order you want. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.